So today the build continues and what I'm going to be working on today is a set of stabilization pads for the four corners of the trainer. What they'll do is they'll be one in each corner and they'll be adjustable for the height so that no matter where we put the trainer we'll be able to adjust it and keep it level. For the build I'm going to use a five inch long three quarter inch bolt along with a quarter inch four inch diameter plate and a coupler. So basically what it's going to do is the bolt will thread into the coupler. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom here allow a spot for a rosette weld and basically weld it together like so. Maybe a foot like that, and it'll adjust up and down. All right, now I'm going to find the center of this plate before I drill it. What I've done is used a, uh, a big fat Sharpie and just marked the metal so I can see where the line is. I've taken the calipers here, and I know the diameter is four inches, so I just cut that in half, and I just set it at two inches, and I just make a nice scribe mark like so. And what you end up with is... I don't know how clear it will be. There you go. Kind of see it in the video. You can see here in the light, it's made a scribe mark that I can take the center punch and locate my center like that. And we're all set. All right, I'm all set up to drill. What I'm going to do to make the drilling easier is I'm going to start out with a smaller drill bit and work my way up to a three-quarter drill bit. So I'll have a three-quarter inch hole in the plate to make the plug or rosette weld. Okay, so I think I have reached the uh, the max capacity of this little bench top drill press, and I'm going to say that its max capacity is three quarter inch. But it did drill the hole, nice and clean, ready for welding. Okay, so there's a shot of the setup for the weld. What it is is the ground clamp clamped around the bolt. I'm using a big magnet, angle magnet, to hold it down, to hold it all together, and I'm resting the pad on top of the bolt. I'll go ahead and tack it up and see what we get from that. Looks like it's going to work out pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and finish this weld up. Okay, so there you have it. This is the end product right here. It's a round pad for stabilizing the trainer once it's put in place. And basically it'll just adjust up and down. And the reason for doing the rosette weld on the bottom was to allow the head of the bolt to be accessible for use with the wrench. So when you have the trainer in place you can just lay down on your side get underneath there with a wrench 
and adjust it as needed. Okay, so there you have it. Four pads made for the corners of this trainer to help stabilize it and keep it in place once it's finished up. Thank you for watching up to this point. I'm gonna continue with the videos in this series and I'm going to be welding these in next. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.